What's up everyone and welcome to another video. A lot of people say that, oh yes, create a five minute mock-up before you do anything. It's better than having nothing. At least you're going to have some sort of idea of what you're going to be working with. And I can 100% agree with that. You should be doing planning for every single kind of project that you're working on and at least a simple wireframe of what your project will look like. Now, when it comes to design, I want to prove to you guys how much a five minute difference uh, matters in your actual design. So today's challenge for this video is a futuristic website that is going to be selling NFTs. And the premise of this is that I'm going to give myself five minutes to design and prototype the main landing page. Then I'm going to give myself 10 minutes. And then finally, I'm going to give myself 15 minutes. And you're going to see how much of a difference that time actually makes and how much of a better design I should technically come out with. Let's just jump right into it. I'm going to take my phone and set a timer for five minutes. So start and off we go. Okay, so what am I thinking? Well, I have a bunch of images here and maybe uh, let's just as a first thought, use one of them as a background. So let's just jump in and instantly get this image going. And uh, let's uh, adjust it to the size of our uh, frame that we're working with. Okay, so we've got a little bit of a background and let's get the two people in here that I maybe want to play around with somehow. So let's position them to this side right here uh, to give us an impression of that they might be walking on water maybe. This looks really fake. So maybe we can give the background some kind of a gradient. So if I go onto the rectangle, let's just adjust it like so. And let's move it behind the two people. Give it a linear gradient, change the orientation of this. Yeah, see, ah, I like that. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. We're actually uh, making some decent progress time. Three minutes and 30 seconds, oh my God. Well, we need a title. We need to create this uh, landing page. Let's call it a uh, digital verse. And I have previously created, or actually, well, I haven't created the font. I just uh, downloaded it and it's called Ethnocentric, which is like a very futuristic font. And obviously let's make it much bigger. It's like 120. Uh, yeah, okay, that seems good. I'm not going to be too picky now because we have very little time. We have a hamburger. Okay, let's add that. But apart from the hamburger, I want to have like a static menu as well that will always just appear. Home. Uh, give it a few spaces, buy NFT, and give it a few spaces, and then maybe contact. All is well and good. However, you can't see this text, so we need to do something about that. Maybe if I position it at the top, lower these guys, because they're kind of going into frame. One minute 45. And we need some kind of description. So let's give it a description of mm, uh, buy over 100 few futuristic and unique NFT NFTs like so I just want to position it right in the center oh I don't feel like we have a lot of time left where's the center where's the center here okay well you can't see that very well 50 seconds oh my god I can't see this text so maybe we can work on like creating a um, background like so which will also be a linear gradient I imagine white but opacity zero to full white and opacity 100. How much time do I have? Seven seconds left. So I'm just going to leave it here because I don't think I can come up with anything else in that time frame. Um, and that's the timer. <sighs> this is horrible. Now, of course, grab all of this, delete it, and we're good. Let me put a timer on to 10 minutes. Uh, let's start now. Okay, 10 minutes on the timer, let's go. So, as I did before, maybe I'll just focus on these guys because I think this image is actually quite cool and it makes the whole concept come to life. So if I possibly position them in the center, I did really like how the white was kind of flowing. I'm going to go ahead and create something similar again. And then we can drag this down a little bit, but the background is a bit, uh, it's a bit, too white for me so let's see what we have here maybe this one maybe this one will work let's let's try it out with this one and see if, if it actually ends up looking quite good yeah i guess that looks kind of good this bottom white will be full and this top white will have an opacity 
So that seems to be a little bit better. No, I don't like that. And we've got six minutes left. Uh, oh, uh, kind of make it better. How do I make it flow nicely? Opacity lower. Oh, 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 I, I, I think, I think, I think I've nailed it. I think I absolutely. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Yeah, we've nailed it. That transition is so smooth. And they're like coming out. Okay, now the top, maybe we should do the same thing from the top, but just like a little bit lighter. So if we if we create another rectangle and we create another a linear gradient, but this time as it will go wide from the top and like so to the bottom, and we can position that below. Oh yes, yeah, that looks good. Okay, now we can work on the title. Okay, looks awesome. And uh, now we need that little text below. So uh, let's select the font as Muli. I think that looks quite good. And we can position that right in the center as well, right below this text. Now, uh, the hamburger, the hamburger icon. How much time? Four minutes, oh my God. Hamburger icon right there. Let's make it smaller. And now uh, create the menu bar. So the menu bar will be at the bottom and we're going to have home. We can make this a little bit smaller. So let's make it like 25. Oh my God, three minutes. This is not good. And now to add the little detail, what I've just thought about, we could add like little circles, tiny little circles, which will be the color of maybe this like pink here. And we can put them right in the middle of these menu bars to give that like nice separation. And let me just copy and paste another one and put it right in the middle here. And how does that look? Okay, that looks good. I like that. Create a new frame, <laughs> MacBook Pro. Two minutes, oh my God, two minutes. So let's create a linear background and possibly we can go from uh, full white to like some other color. That seems to seems to work okay. Uh, and now uh, one minute 35, okay, let's add, let's add some NFTs. Okay, so no, that's not what I want. That is not what I want. <laughs> I'm panicking, I'm panicking, I'm panicking. Uh, let's give this like 50. Uh, and let's uh, radius and then let's just separate them here we go and uh, let's click on each individual one and uh, give them a fill of an image let's go with uh, this one okay and then last 50 seconds as the title browse our collection oh this page is just terrible because I don't have enough time and I'm just rushing it totally maybe let's number them let's number them 001 and then oh my god Z no is that aligned with the other one yep and then let's give them the opacity oh of 80 percent okay i'm just gonna cheat a little bit just change the opacity here of 80 percent okay <laughs> okay well this is what we got you know this this first page i am really happy with because uh it looks really really good it looks really really good this second page it doesn't have any concept to it. It doesn't have anything. So uh, yeah. Now let's go reset the timer to 15 minutes. We've got a pure and clean template right here. Let's do this final try and see where we can get to. And hopefully you can get that second page done as well, as well as the first one. Now, you know, I'm keeping it fair. I'm doing all of this again. I could just be adding five minutes on top, but every time you approach a project, you should try again because you can see how much the first landing page has changed to the second one, how much better it is. If I just stayed with it and just worked on top of it, I might've not got there. So I like to always start from scratch and see what kind of new ideas I come up with. So another 15 minutes, who knows, the landing page might change a little bit more. We'll see. Uh, so yeah, 15 minutes on the clock in three, two, one, let's go. Ooh, okay, okay, we need to import the images. So let's drag these over. They are copied over right here and they can stand right there, middle, middle, right. The second one is this. So let's do this whole layer of white like so. And let's give it a linear gradient. We can pretty much leave it like this. I kind of like this. Okay, now the title, digital verse. And let's move it, let's move it right to the center right here. Okay, now we need the hamburger icon. Let's drag this right into here and get this sorted. That looks pretty decent right here, okay. And now the little menu bar that we also wanted to include. So right here, it was home. And let's copy it over and create one right 
there. And I think that is pretty much recreated and it looks a little bit nicer. Oh, actually, really one quick idea. I just want to try something. What if we add like a, like a stripe right across it, which will be behind uh, the text. And it's going to be like some super like bright color. Maybe like, oh, does that look better? Oh, I'm not sure. What if we give this a stroke of white? Okay, I'm, <laughs> I'm going crazy here. And we make it like five. Does that look better? Oh, I don't know. That looks good. Does that look better? Mm, I don't think I'm feeling it. Okay, maybe it was a bad idea, but I like the stroke. The stroke actually worked well here. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave the stroke. Okay, second page, oh my God. Seven minutes, oh God, way not enough time. Okay, uh, so I got really distracted with that. That was a really bad idea, but um, it's part of the creative process, I guess, right? <laughs> part of the creative process. Okay, let's make this linear. Okay, I think I am happy with that. Okay, time, six minutes, my God. Uh, let's make a one big NFT with a border radius of 50. And then let's make two smaller ones. Uh, let's go again. Oh, I'm panicking. And then let's just copy this over and paste it like so. Distance similar. Drop it down to the same height like so. And then let's hold them and adjust them into the center. We are good. Now, images. Let's get the images done. I don't know if I like it on this blue background, but I think uh, one of the things that I would want to do is like make it seem like it's scrollable. So what we can do here is we can do something quite hacky and draw a line uh, from here to here, like so. And we can give this a border radius of like two. Now, uh, let's make this fill white, so it's absolutely white. Copy and paste it. And now let's give it a layer of like really dark black. Imagine like this is a scrolling thing. We can just drag this here. And to make it seem nice now, let's give it a height of two. And let's give this a height of two. And there we go. Now we've got like a little scrollable bar that looks like we can actually scroll through the images. Uh, now let's do the title. Browse our collection and make this much smaller. Oh, this is way too large. Now, we had those like little gems. When it comes to NFTs, and I've got two minutes and a half left. Okay, uh, usually you pay them with Ethereum. So we're going to try and highlight that the price of this is in Ethereum. And actually, before I do that, let's give this a title. Uh, let's call this uh, pool house uh, like 001. Oh, two minutes, two minutes. Also, what we can do is maybe give the price in dollars next to it, seems reasonable. To Ethereum, I don't know how much that would be. It's like 8,457 and 32. I don't know, I just made that up. May might be right, who knows? <laughs> Come on, select this and let's move it like so. Uh, one minute left. Uh, what else do we have from our assets? We have all oh, social media icons. Uh, social media icons, how can we include it? Okay, maybe we can draw a line. Oh my goodness, I don't know if I can do this in time. I draw a line from here to the center and we can copy this and paste it from the other side like so. And now let's put our social media icons in. Oh my God, that is huge. Uh, and make it tiny, tiny, tiny. Let's make it like, uh, I don't know, like 30. Okay, I think that's that will be good. And we can just position it right here and let's get the other one in as well. And straight away, let's make it uh, 30 and whack it right here. Okay, we need to make that a little bit smaller, like 28. So they kind of match. And okay, so this distance is good. And then this distance seems fine. And that's our social media icons and uh, this background. And we've got three seconds left. Oh no, that's the end of the time. I won't be able to do anything more. Oh my goodness. Well, this is what the final design is. Uh, I'm actually super happy with this. It came out much better than I initially imagined because it just, it looks actually like a really nice uh, landing page for an NFT uh, purchasing place. And then of course we have our bros, the collection of the NFTs with a little scroll bar and a little like intro to the images. Uh, their current price of the specific one. We have the name of the specific NFT. 
And then of course at the bottom we have our social media icons, uh, which are Instagram and OpenSeas where you usually would sell an NFT. I think from what we had at the very beginning to what we actually came up with, uh, it was a, a really good job. To be fair, the transformation from that first landing page was really good. Then the second browser collection, I didn't have enough time. Now imagine if I gave myself five more minutes to do that. Maybe the whole concept would have changed, the colors would have been better, uh, and so on and so forth. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed going through this challenge with me. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my creative process of designing these landing pages and the other pages for those NFTs. If you did enjoy these videos, make sure you smash the thumbs up button and make sure you subscribe to this channel to see more design tutorials and more web dev stuff. And maybe we could create these and turn them into actual websites. Who knows? If you do enjoy it, make sure you smash that subscribe button. And as always, I hope you guys have an amazing day, an amazing week. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Look, baby girl, love my bop and unlike me too. No roof on my top and my babe see through. Hating on the pen don't stop, shit ain't gon' feed you.